the first element in this row is a zero so we are going to discuss how we can do a problem when we get a zero as the first element in order to find the stability of this characteristic equation first of all write a column with the powers of s so here it is s raised to 5 the first element will be s raised to 5 then s raised to 4 s raised to 3 s raised to 2 s raised to 1 and s raised to 0 so this is the column with the powers of s now take the first element then after a gap next element after a gap next element look at the coefficient of these elements so s raised to 5 the coefficient it is 1 s cube the coefficient it is 2 3s the coefficient it is 3 now take the second element second element then after a gap next element after a gap next element so the coefficient of s raised to 4 it is 1 the coefficient of s square it is 2 and here the value is it it is 15 now in order to get this element we will do the multiplication in this direction like this so starting from 1 we will do the multiplication like this so 1 into 2 1 into 2 minus 1 into 2 1 into 2 divided by starting element starting element it is 1 so 1 into 2 it is 2 then minus 2 by 1 it will be 0 so this value will be 0 now in order to get the second element we will do the multiplication like this starting from 1 and ending here so 1 into 3 1 into 3 minus 1 into 15 1 into 15 divided by starting element starting element it is 1 we are starting from here so starting element 1 so 1 to 3 it is 3 minus 1 to 15 it is minus 15 divided by 1 so 3 minus 15 it will be minus 12 so this value will be minus 12 then the next value will be 1 into 0 there is no value here if there was a value here we will do the multiplication like this but in this question there is no value here so we can write 0 here okay now this is a special case as you can see the first element in this row it is a 0 after 0 there is a non zero element if this element was also 0 then this row will be completely 0 that is a special case but here the first element is 0 and we have a non zero value in the same row in that kind of problem we need to substitute this first element by a positive value called as epsilon so to do the remaining calculation we need to substitute 0 with the epsilon the first element with the epsilon we don't want to put other zeros as epsilon the first element as epsilon okay now for finding this element what we will do we will do the multiplication like this in this direction in this direction okay like this okay so 2 into epsilon into 2 epsilon into 2 minus 1 into minus 12 1 into minus 12 divided by starting element starting element it is epsilon so epsilon to 2 it is 2 epsilon minus 1 into minus 12 it will be minus 12 minus and minus it will become plus so 2 epsilon plus 12 divided by epsilon so new value here it will be 2 epsilon plus 12 divided by epsilon okay now to get the next element what we will do we will do the multiplication like this in this direction okay so epsilon into 15 epsilon into 15 minus 1 into 0 1 into 0 divided by starting element starting element it is epsilon so we will get the value as 15 epsilon by epsilon so epsilon and epsilon will get cancelled we will get 15 so here the value will be 15 and the next element will be 0 because there is no term we can multiply so this element will be 0 okay now in order to get this element what we will do we will do the multiplication in this direction so this is a starting element and we will do the multiplication like this so this element it is 2 epsilon plus 12 by epsilon into minus 12 minus so this is one term minus 5, epsilon into 15 so it will be 15 epsilon is the second time all divided by our starting element we started from here so starting element it is 2 epsilon plus 12 divided by epsilon so this is the value that we are going to get here then the next value will be 0 we will get 0 here because uh, this into 0 it will be 0 minus epsilon to 0 it will be 0 okay so this element will be 
this one this big equation is going to be here okay now we got this element and this element now we need to find this element for that what we will do we will do the multiplication like this so this element into 15 minus this element into 0 we can do that this element is this thing this big equation so this element it is this one into 15 this element into 15 into 15 so this will be our first term minus this element into 0 this element into 0 it is going to be 0 all divided by our starting element starting element is this thing itself so we can see here these two are common so we will cancel it and the remaining value that we are going to get it is 15 so the final element it is going to be 15 this element and the last element in the characteristic equation will be same 15 15 now after finding all the element in the first column we need to replace this epsilon by 0 first of all we replace the 0 with the epsilon now after getting all these values we need to replace epsilon with the 0 so we are going to replace epsilon by 0 so this element will be 0 now for finding this element what we need to do is that this element it is 2 epsilon plus 12 by epsilon take epsilon outside take epsilon outside from the numerator then we will get 2 plus from 2 epsilon if you are taking epsilon outside we will get 2 from 12 if you are taking epsilon outside we will get 12 by epsilon in the denominator there is an epsilon value so this epsilon and epsilon will get cancelled now substitute 0 so how do you get 2 plus 12 by 0 12 by 0 it is infinity so 2 is getting added to an infinite value so we will get a positive infinite value here we got a positive infinity value here now we need to find this element this element is this big equation i'm going to take epsilon outside from this numerator numerator it is 2 epsilon plus 12 from that numerator i'm going to take epsilon outside and what will we, we will get epsilon into 2 plus 12 by epsilon that is our numerator the denominator we have an epsilon then that should be multiplied by minus 12 this is our first term minus 15 epsilon okay that is our numerator now denominator in the denominator term there also the numerator from numerator take epsilon outside so it took epsilon outside and the remaining value will be 2 plus 12 by epsilon in the denominator there is an epsilon that epsilon and epsilon will get cancelled so this term is going to come as denominator here here also epsilon and epsilon will get cancelled now substitute epsilon equal to 0 so what will you get 2 plus 12 by epsilon epsilon t is 0 so 12 by 0 it is going to be infinity but we are going to write it as 0 here because we need to find a value here we need to get a value here so 12 by epsilon i am going to write it as 0 that should be multiplied by minus 12 then minus 15 into epsilon epsilon t is 0 so 15 to 0 it is going to be 0 all divided by 2 plus 12 by epsilon epsilon t is 0 so 12 by 0 it is infinity but we are going to write it as 0 here okay so 2 into minus 12 it is going to be minus 24 divided by 2 so we will get the answer as minus 12 so minus 12 is going to be the value here thus when we look at the column first column we are checking the column to find the stability so this is a positive value positive value 0 then again positive value then negative value so a sign change occurs here then from negative again to positive so there are two sign changes two sign changes if there are two sign changes then our system is going to be an unstable system there is a sign change therefore it is an unstable system if we get this value as a positive value then this system is going to be a stable system but here it is an unstable system